so as you know i spent my savings on the s25 ultra because i make bad decisions and with all the advanced capabilities of this phone it doesn't make sense that i actually turned it into a dumb phone i understand the popularity of dumb phones because nowadays phones are a huge distraction when you want to get important things done to further your life so lowering your screen on time or just not having your phone at all could be an incredible step to having a more productive lifestyle but after looking at the functionalities of the light phone and other dumb phones i've come to see that smartphones are just too essential to not have nowadays there are a bunch of distracting social media apps on your phone but there's also essential apps on android and iphone that might be detrimental if you don't have them on you all the time for instance banking apps so what if you misplace your wallet and you just need to pause your debit card or your credit card just in case somebody has it and just having that simple functionality could be extremely crucial and also ride share apps like uber if you're out and about and also google maps just in case you get lost as well as audiobooks podcasts and music apps because i don't feel like these are full distractions especially if you're playing lo-fi music in the background that helps you study so personally i don't believe that the market for dumb phones will not prevail but the rise of turning your smartphone into a dumb phone will become very popular in the future and I'm not that disciplined yet to use my Android phone as a dumb phone 24 seven. So I use modes and routines to switch back from the dumb phone and the regular One UI 7 setup. And I'll show you how to do that later on in this video. And I found out what works best for me is to have specific time block. For instance, two hour time blocks where I turn my phone completely off. I put my phone in another room so that I can't touch the phone throughout the duration of that time and also overlapping time blocks to have the dumb phone mode on throughout the day. For example, having the dumb mode on up until 6 or 7 p.m. So throughout the day, even if I do pick up the phone, it will be in dumb mode and that's up until 7 p.m. when it's time to play and relax. And then I can get on TikTok and watch YouTube videos. And that's how I get the best of both worlds. And I know these social media apps get a bad flack, which they should, but I do want to admit that I do learn a lot from scrolling these algorithms. Like for instance, I started intermittent fasting and I did learn all the benefits about hitting that fat burning stages and the ketosis stages on a regular basis. And I did save off a ton of low carb meal prep recipe videos and they may be lying about the carbs, but the recipes do turn out to be good and I even made them for other people, tricking them to think that I could actually Actually cook. I understand that you can get a lot of this information from books, but we have to admit that most of us will never pick up these books. And I wouldn't have known that I'm even interested in some of these topics. So yeah, social media is bad, but you can try to calibrate your algorithm to show you useful things that you're interested in. But that's another topic for another day. So the launcher that I'm using is the Before Launcher, and this is a great minimal launcher, which is one of the best ways to keep all the distractions away from your home screen. There's a free and paid version, and I'm glad to say that the free version has some of the important features that you need in a launcher. And that's why this is one of my go-to launchers. Things like hiding the notification shade and also double tapping the home screen to lock your phone. And I don't know about you, but that double tap option is very important to me. And I've seen that other minimal launchers don't let you do those things for free. So I'm glad to see that here. The launcher comes with a built-in widget, which is pretty cool. You can add the weather to that widget and you can add a counter, which counts how many times you unlock the phone on your device. But I keep that one off for now because I already know the number for me is going to be dramatically high and i'm definitely going to fail in that category but i'm still working on that so there's a great notification feature built into this launcher but sadly i haven't got it to work on my phone but essentially it shows all your notifications on the left side of the home screen and it allows you to fit throughout the notification that you want to display and that you don't want to display and it shows it within the launcher i haven't gotten it to work yet but it's not a big deal for me because when i put my phone in dumb mode i cancel out all notifications except for very specific contacts they also have a few customizations within this launcher so in the home screen you can put the apps on the side or in the middle you can use the app icons or you can only display the words and you can change the color of the words if you like and of course you can pick the wallpaper of your choosing and you have similar customizations within the app drawer here i'm using a pitch black wallpaper for the launcher which i think looks great because i love seeing the amoled screen and for the lock screen i'm using a wallpaper from the enjoyment wallpaper pack i love these wallpapers because they have the oled fade from the bottom so that you can see the icons more clearly in your dock and the oled fade is just so satisfying to me personally and there's some recently added wallpapers but also have the oled fade all around the screen so you can see that pitch black on each corner of the device and i think that these are perfect for my dark mode setup so i've been using these wallpapers they're good for my other setups as well and i might go through those in another video 
for those of you that are running the one ui 7 beta or the one ui official release then you'll know that the lockstar module from goodlock has not been released for one ui 7 up until now it just became available the day before i'm shooting the b-roll for this video so i decided to go ahead and add it to my setup so i'm not sure if y'all are going to get the update within the samsung store but for me i had to download the apk from online so just in case i'll put the link to the apk down below so i haven't used a device with one ui 6 so i'm not sure about every single difference from the lockstar module on one ui 6 to one ui 7 but it looks like on one ui 7 lockstar is more of an extension to the lock screen customization in contrast to being a standalone good lock module so when we long press on the lock screen to get to the lock screen customization window you'll see a new button at the bottom for good lock and then after clicking that you can see all the customizations that you can do from the good lock application and hopefully i'm missing something here but from what i see you can't disable the stock clock on the lock screen and replace it with any widget that you want which i'm very sad to see because that was the main reason why i was waiting for the lockstar module be to become available because i really wanted to replace the stock clock with a kwgt widget but it looks like we can't do that right now but we still have the ability to add any widget we want and we can also add stickers to the lock screen and we can also move and resize the clock to whatever position we want and we have other different options like adding your favorite apps to the lock screen customizing the lock icon and also adding a setting or app to the quick launch area and this is all pretty cool so like i said earlier i'm not that disciplined to use a dumb phone 24 7 so i use samsung modes and routines to turn on the dumb phone settings whenever i like and i'll show you how to do that here so this will be specific to Samsung users. Just go to the modes and routines app and add a new mode. So I have two dumb modes actually, one for colored and one for grayscaled. The grayscale one is the one I go to more often and that's when I really need to be hands off the phone. And I actually call it robot mode because that's how you have to think about yourself sometimes to be ultra productive. You have to be a robot. So there is an option to turn on the mode automatically at a specific time, but I didn't set that up here. And they have other options to choose exactly what you want within the mode. And here are all the options that I do. So if you want to copy this, you can go ahead and pause rewind to get every single step. So for the stay focused category, I put on the do not disturb mode, which of course is a must. And there's an option for you to restrict apps. But honestly, when you put on the grayscale, for me, that hinders the experience so much that I don't even need to use this section. I also added dark mode. I added grayscale, which is crucial. And the biggest step is choosing to open up an app right when you switch to the mode. And we're going to set it to open up the before launcher right when we switch to the mode. This is important. So once you switch the mode, it's going to go straight to the before launcher. But the sad thing is Samsung doesn't allow you to set the default launcher within a routine which is sad but i found that to be okay because once you switch to the mode all you have to do is long press on the home screen scroll down to choose the default launcher and pick the before launcher so if they had that option within routines it will be a one button swap but since they don't it's a three-step process which is not that bad i also turn off the always on display and turn the brightness down another big part that keeps me from scrolling through my phone is turning the refresh rate down to 60 hertz i may be over exaggerating here but i hate using 60 hertz screens if i'm having a bad day or something and i get on my phone to a 60 hertz screen it just makes my day that much worse honestly i don't see how a company can release a brand new phone over 600 dollars with a 60 hertz screen but anyways i digress in the appearance section you can change the wallpaper to whatever you like like i said earlier i use a pitch black wallpaper for my home screen and i use one of my favorite dark mode wallpapers from the enjoyment wallpaper pack on the lock screen all right, so that's how I turn my Galaxy S25 into a dumb phone with just a couple clicks. If you want to see some great Android applications, then click this video right here and I will talk to y'all next time.